Now, if you use WooCommerce, you'll know that straight out of the box, it's useful, but you still need to go ahead and probably tweak quite a few things to get it where you want it. That can involve plugins, which can be expensive, or tinkering with code that you may not be comfortable with. Well, today I want to introduce you to someone that's making all of our lives considerably easier. This is Alex. Now, Alex has released over 170 code snippets freely available so that you can customize so many different aspects of WooCommerce without spending a single penny. That in itself is pretty awesome. So what I want to do today is just introduce you to some of these and show you how A, you can support Alex if you want to, which is a really good thing, and B, how to actually go ahead and use these code snippets for yourself with a couple of really simple examples. So first of all, you need two things. You need code snippets installed, you can use the free version, and you need a code snippets cloud account, which again, you can use the free version. So once you've done that, the link will be in the description so you can check out all of Alex's growing collection of WooCommerce snippets. But let me just quickly show you how you go about actually adding a snippet for yourself. So with those things in store, we need to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to find the snippet that we want to use. For this example, let's go and find something that we can see easy results for. For that, one of the things that we often find we want to do is to remove the order notes field on the checkout. Let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. This is the order notes. You can see it's an area that lots of people will never ever use or you may have no use for on your store and you just want to get rid of it. Now you could go and search for a little bit of code and then insert that into various different parts of your site like your function. It just gets complicated for a lot of users and there's the potential for things to break. Using something like code snippets eases that pressure. So now we've seen what we're gonna get rid of. Let's go ahead and get shot of it. Coming back over into the code snippets cloud, this is the entry that we're going to use. We're going to view this code and you can see there's our little bit of code that we're going to use. There's information down the left hand side about the actual uh, snippet itself, maybe how to use it, those kinds of things. All we need to do is go ahead, click on copy and that will copy all of this little bit of code. We're going to head back over into our copy of WordPress. I've already opened up code snippets, which is installed. Again, this is just the free version. There's nothing here is paid for. We're going to go ahead and add a new snippet. We're going to name this remove notes field. And all we need to do is simply go ahead and paste in that little bit of code that Alex has kindly supplied us with. You can see we then choose where we want to run this. I'm going to let this run everywhere. If you want to drop a little description in so you know what this is all about, which is good housekeeping, do that. And also I'm going to group things together with tags. So I'm just going to use boo. So all I need you to do now is click save and activate. There we go. We've now created our first code snippet. If we hop back over to our checkout page, there's our notes field. Let's go ahead, refresh, gone, completely gone. So we don't need to worry about that little notes field anymore. As simple as that. And that's a really simple example, but you can do an awful lot more with some of these code snippets that Alex has provided us with. Let me show you one that's just a little bit more comprehensive that may be unique, but you may have a use for it. Now, let's say that you've got a store and you need to have your own custom order statuses, things like pending, picking, those kinds of things. Well, straight out of the box, you can't kind of do that with WooCommerce, but you can with this code snippet. So we're going to do it. Let's go and view this one. This is a more complex kind of setup and does require a little bit of user interaction. But let me just show you how this works. Let's copy this. Let's hop back over into code snippets. Let's go and create a new code snippet. This is going to be a functions.php code snippet. So we're going to select that from there and we'll click add new. And we're simply going to go ahead and drop in that little bit of code. And this now is kind of the vanilla setup. This is going to use what Alex has supplied us with. In this example, the term custom status. Well, let's say we want to change that to something that's more unique to us. Well, we can go ahead and do that. You can see anywhere it says custom status, we can change that and we can put what we want in instead of it. Now, before we do go any further and make changes, let me just quickly show you where this shows up inside of WooCommerce. If we come over to our orders, let's go on up and open up an order. Let's take a look at this processing one. And you can see we've got these statuses. So you can see we've got all the standard ones, including pending payment, on hold, failed, and so on. We want to add our own custom entry inside here. So let's just jump back over. Let's keep this really simple. Let's just change this to my custom status. You could change this to whatever you wanted to. So again, let's just go and change this where we see that. 
And that's pretty much all we need to do. Now we can go ahead, run this script everywhere, tag it, put a description on it, whatever we want to do. We'll quickly give this a name, we call it custom status, and then we're gonna come down and say save changes and activate. And there we go. So now let's come back to our order. Let's refresh this. And inside there, if we open up our statuses and we scroll through, there's my custom status. We'll select that. We'll update this. We've now set this to be my custom status. If we come back to our orders, Inside there, you can see there's my custom status and anywhere we've used that will be listed inside here. It is as simple as that. Now, there are an abundance and I know that Alex is adding more with a goal of at least 200 by the end of the year. Now, I said at the top of this video, how could you support Alex? Well, if you head over to the link I'll put in the description below, you can sign up for his forthcoming ebook, which is WooCommerce Conversion Rate Optimization. By supporting creators like this, you give something back for all the time and the effort that they put in to creating things for us to make our lives easier. So check out the link in the description below for this and also everything else I've covered in this video. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care. Thank you.